Hello and welcome back to Pro Photo Vector. My name is Mike Davies and in today's tutorial I'll be showing you how to crop your canvas or your artboard down to the size of your design in Affinity Designer. So here I am inside of Affinity Designer. Of course in Illustrator you have the artboard tool and you can shrink your artboard quickly down to the size of your design. You can't really do that here in Affinity Designer. There is a quick workaround so what you have to do is grab the select tool over here or the move tool and you're going to just click and drag this over all of the elements that you want to crop your canvas to. And next what I'll do is go to File, Export, and we're not actually exporting this. What we're going to do is come over here to where it says Area, and we're going to click on this drop down, and so long as you have something selected, we can come over here to where it says Selection Only, and uh, the language of this might change. It might say selection without background if you're using an older version of Affinity Designer. But we're gonna go with selection only. And this is gonna give you the dimensions of the selection. So 708 by 510. This is what we're gonna resize the document to. You can hit export if you actually wanna export it out of here. But I'll exit out of here. And we'll go to file, document setup. And we're going to come over here under dimensions and we're going to make sure we go with the objects will anchor to page. So make sure you have that button enabled. And then we're going to click on the center button here. That way the objects remain nice and centered on our new document size. And we'll come over here to dimensions. Make sure you have this little lock unlocked. And now we're going to type 708 and for the height here, we'll type 510, and I'll come over here and click OK. So now you'll see the document is cropped here, almost exactly the same size, actually probably is the exact same size as our shape. So the reason when I selected this, I didn't just come over here under transform and use the dimensions that display here is because the dimensions are a little bit off. So sometimes when you select items, it selects a little bit outside of the item itself and therefore it throws off the dimension. All right, so that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully you liked it. If you did, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to be notified each time I have a brand new tutorial. You can also check out my website at profotovector.com. But thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.